Okay. Now, if he couldn't do this position, then I would place his hand, just relax, here, on the other side. Yeah. You can still do the same thing. Is that better for you? Does that feel easier? Yeah. Yeah? Fine. So we'll do this. Ideally, though, I get the hand behind the neck, bring the elbow up to 90 degrees. I just find that much, much easier, to be fair. Now, I am going to have to stabilise the shoulder girdle. So what I'm going to do is my hand, I'm putting a towel here. If you're working on females, get them to place their hand over the armpit, and then you can place your hand over the top. Yeah. So just relax that down. I'm going to place my hand like so. So I'm going to stabilise the shoulder girdle. Okay, stabilize the shoulder girdle. Now, I am coming up higher than I think I need to be, okay? Mm -hmm. If I'm down too low, I'm gonna use my hands. I can't get my hands up, because I need to step up into this position. I need to lock the elbow against my, sh against my ribs, because I'm going to be leaning down like this, okay? I have to get the position with my other hand, my fulcrum correct, okay? So my thumb is gonna sit between the first two fingers and I'm gonna create, it's almost a bit like a chicken drumstick, yeah? yeah. So the scapula is gonna drop off like this. Scapula is gonna drop like that. So I need to get my hand as long and as low as I can. If my elbow comes high, I block the scapula. I block the scapula, yeah? So from here, what I'm gonna do, just come a little bit closer to me, there we go. So I wanna bring him as close to me as possible, that way I don't have to lean over too much. From here, I'm just going to rotate him away, find the spinous process in the medial border, and then I'm gonna place my hand, my applicator, on the rhomboids, you all right? You sure? What I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna test it. Bring the elbow up, and I'm gonna see if there's movement. You can see the shoulder moving? Just, just testing to start with. Look, there. Mm. If my hand is too lateral and I block the scapula, look, look, I've got nothing. So I'll end up just pushing his scapula onto my hand and it won't be, it won't be comfortable for either of us. Now, this can be quite tricky, so we'll try and do it as slowly as possible. So I'm not gonna thrust yet, okay? My elbow contacts his elbow. My hand contacts his shoulder that allows me to rotate him away. From here, I find the spinous process in the medial border. My thumb crosses over and I lock in. I test. From this position, I'm going to stabilize the shoulder girdle. And we'll talk a, a bit later about, can you hold your shoulder? Actually hold your shoulder, there we go, good. From here, I stabilize the shoulder girdle and I'm gonna come up, I come up, I lock the elbow tight, and in one fluid movement, he's gonna breathe in. I'm not gonna thrust yet. As he breathes out, I compress in, I rotate over all the way, and then I will drive straight down. I want the elbow to be facing the ceiling. Yeah? Just put your right hand behind your head for me again. There we go. So ideally, I want the elbow 